After discharging all of our previous cargo in China, our ship received the orders for our next voyage. We were to proceed to the port of Kalama, Washington in the United States. After more than two weeks of crossing the Pacific Ocean, we have arrived at the entrance to the Columbia River. Hey there guys, our latest voyage took our ship to the port of Kalama, which is located along the Columbia River. If you have been watching my channel for a while now, you might remember that I have been in this area last year when my previous ship loaded some cargo in Portland, Oregon. That was actually one of my channel's earliest episodes. Anyway, we were informed that our ship had to stay for a few days at the Anchorage area in Astoria while waiting for our berthing schedule. We managed to do a few maintenance jobs while at anchor. In addition, we also got to prepare the ship for inspection. And also had the opportunity to launch our lifeboat and rescue boat. So after four days of waiting at the Anchorage area, it was our turn to go alongside. Unfortunately, our transit upriver was scheduled past midnight, so there wasn't any chance of getting any footage of our ship transiting along the Columbia River. But after about 5 hours of maneuvering, we have finally reached our loading port. We are scheduled to load our cargo here which is bound for Japan and I think we'll be here for almost two days it's just a short stay very short stay but hopefully we could finish everything we need to do quickly so we might have time for shore leave i've been on board for three months and i haven't stepped on dry land ever since i came on board we were scheduled to load corn as our next cargo which is bound to be discharged in Japan. The loading operation in this port will only take about three days, so the schedule was really tight, especially since we will be busy with a few more items we need to finish before departure. As I have mentioned in my previous video, in some ports there are businessmen who come aboard a ship to sell some products. Here around the area of Portland, business comes in the form of a rolling store. I'm here right now at the parking lot of the jetty. So I'm down here because I'm visiting the rolling store. So it's a good thing here in Kalama there are businessmen and businesswomen who come to the ship with this rolling store. 
So it's a good thing for the crew members who have no US visa and for those who are too busy that they won't be able to go on shore leave. As we are staying only for two days here, there's a big chance that we might not be able to go on shore leave. So I'll take advantage of buying whatever I can from here. So this store is managed by Ate Josie. She's also a Filipina. She's from Leyte. Ate, say hi. Hi. <laughs> the store contains various goods which are commonly bought by seafarers. Products such as small electronics, clothing, vitamins, snacks, and other stuff that may be used for personal consumption or as souvenirs, and possibly even as gifts. Okay, so I'm done shopping. I bought a few stuff. <laughs> as predicted, a lot of the guys went to check out what's in the store as some of them, more or less, were already expecting to stay on board. Unfortunately, we became very very busy in this port. In fact, so busy and with a need for urgency, I wasn't able to shoot a lot of footages. Once again, we were scheduled to have a few inspections in addition to some pending maintenance items that we needed to finish before departure. On top of that, of course, was the cargo operations. As we were facing another two weeks across the Pacific to get to our discharging port, our stay here was the only opportunity for us to do everything that needs to get done. But thankfully, after finishing everything we needed to do, I finally had the opportunity to go on shore leave. So some of the guys and I are getting ready for shore leave. It is the first time that I'm going to be on shore leave after about three, three months on board a ship. So where are we going, guys? Even though we were quite tired from the day's activities, we still went out because we won't get another chance to do so. So of course, whenever seafarers uh, go ashore here in the United States, the best place to go to is Best Buy. You might be thinking, seriously? Best Buy? I know, right? If you've seen my videos from last year, I've had a lot of epic shore leave adventures from America, Europe, and all the way to Asia. But now it would seem I'm pretty psyched just to go out to Best Buy. Well, besides the fact that it was my first time to get out after spending three months on board a ship, as seafarers, we always try to make the best out of whatever the situation gives us. Believe it or not, I've actually been to worse places during shore leave. And I actually enjoyed it. Just because I got to spend time out of the ship, on dry land, and I got to eat something that was not ship's food. To tell you the truth, I was actually already satisfied just buying something from Josie's rolling store. But having the chance of going out and going shopping in an actual big store, that was a bonus. What can I say? Seafarers were not really that difficult to amuse. After all, there are lots of times that we seafarers get to experience the worst conditions that the sea could offer. 
So I guess it's no wonder that we could also find at least some amount of joy in even the simplest of things.